Hi, I'm Matt Morantz, and uh, I'm a saxophonist and a mouthpiece maker. And um, I got into this uh, just about 14 years ago, um, really because I was struggling to find something that would work well for me and what I wanted to use as a player. Um, I didn't know that it would lead me down any kind of path towards being a refacing person or a mouthpiece maker, but um, eventually I started doing work for other people and um, it snowballed into what it is now. Um, and it wasn't about until five years into it that we came out with the Slant Legacy model. Um, I didn't start making mouthpieces right away, but um, as I made them for more and more people, and they enjoyed them, and I, I found out that what worked for me worked for a lot of other players too, that made me happy. And um, as we uh, developed the Slant Legacy model, I was looking for something to be more affordable and a more consistent version of what you could... Um, find people a lot of refer to um, a lot of times referred to as the holy grail of mouthpieces which for tenor players is a slant link uh, many times and um, when we came out with that um, I, I was amazed with it right away and uh, it started to sell pretty consistently here in the city and uh, online and uh, a few years later um, Melissa, who I've known for many years, uh, a lot longer than I've probably even been doing this, um, came over and tried one, and I was elated to find out that it, she really liked it. And uh, we did a little bit of custom work on, on hers, but otherwise it's basically stock, except for the beak being a little bit um, lower than the ones that I made for everyone else and myself. And um, so on, you know, fast forward to five years later, um, after she's been... Uh, playing that mouthpiece in contexts and records on the road with her band. Um, she came to me this year and decided that it was time for uh, a little more power and a little more edge. And I completely understood that. And um, so I worked with my engineering partner to come up with a design that would uh, meet those needs. And um, what we've done basically is started out with the Slant Legacy design, which is about as close as I was able to get personally, um, in my opinion, to uh, the original um, with the modern machining tools that we have available to us now. Um, and so we started with that design, and uh, I kept the window shape the same. The only things we really changed, uh, it is drastically a different mouthpiece, is that we squeezed the chamber down from the original size to more of a medium uh, size chamber, and we took the baffle and made it, um, instead of a classic rollover shape, it's more of a straight edge, and it's more of a wedge shape, so it doesn't um, it doesn't look as circular towards the back. If you look at the, it's kind of hard to see baffles on slants, but if you look at them in the light, it's more of a straight edge than than that. And uh, what that does for the sound um, when you lift it up and make it longer is it just makes the projection and the the focus a lot more apparent. And um, I think it it did two things. To her sound, um, in my uh, opinion, it, it, it clarified a lot of the texture that I think she's probably trying to go for. Um, it made that a lot more enhanced and like I can hear it in the room when I'm listening uh, quite a bit more clearly. And it just increased the power like quite a bit. And she has to be in a lot of situations um, where I would imagine the acoustic version of the sound is probably more important than what you even hear on the mic. Especially when you're on stage, I can relate to that as a player, feeling like you can hear yourself over the drums, and she plays with some amazing, great, very powerful drummers. You gotta be able to, um, to cut and hear yourself as a tenor player. So when, um, when I heard her play it for the first time, it seemed like it was working right away, and uh, we haven't changed the design from the first iteration. Um, I'm really thrilled that she's happy with it, and um, I'm happy to bring it to the market as something that players can, um, can also own and enjoy. Uh, it offers you quite a bit more power and projection and the ability to fit into many more modern contexts than the old design, and uh, we're looking forward to seeing what you think of it.